So let's take a look at how you can accept and deliver assignments using Google Drive. A lot of this is similar to Dropbox, but um, the difference is that here, this is a file storage place slash Office Productivity Suite, so it's kind of like Microsoft Office and a USB drive, all like packaged in the cloud. So first, delivering assignments to students. What I typically recommend is um, creating a folder for that your class and sharing the entire folder. So this way, rather than sharing assignments, because remember when you um, if you take a folder and you set the shared settings on the folder, anything you drop into that folder inherits that folder's shared setting. So here I have a folder 2012-13 period one AP Gov. If I click share, and I can do several things. I can I can add all my students, and I can set the view, which I usually do if it's a place where they're just picking up assignments, and this way they're not accidentally editing it before somebody can download it. Or I can um I can in addition to that and or I can say anyone with a link in view, and I can place this link on a class website or somewhere the kids can access it. So you can uh, either add them. Now th let's look at the difference between the two. If I if I put the link somewhere. They have to go to the link to find it. If I specifically add each of them, it shows up in their Google Drive main menu, which is very convenient for kids. So I actually recommend adding the kids as a down here under view. And then once I've done that, once I've done that, then uh, what I do is then if I have a file, if I have a file that I want the kids to read or a video I want them to view, I just drag it over to that and it'll inherit that folder settings. And if I want to drag something out, it will lose the settings. This is much useful than trying to work, remember different settings for different files. Working on the file level, folder level, and just remembering folder settings, this way, you know, you can just worry about fewer elements. But let's take a let's take, talk about accepting files or assignments. I recommend students asking students to create their own folder. So here, let's say a student folder, 2012, 13 period one, and there's a generic student name here. Um, first, specifying how they should name their folder and having them share it with you with the edit setting. So instead of sharing assignments one by one, they should just share one folder. And then anything they throw into this folder will be shared with you and you can view it and edit and, and, and comment on their work. And any, so this really, I think, cuts down on clutter if they're just sharing one folder for the whole semester or year and versus sharing one document at a time. Uh, another way to do this, is, and um. And real quick tip is uh, then I'll, I'll once I have all my students sharing their folders with me, then I'll create my own folder here, like 2012 13 student folders. Then I'll take my that student and I'll take all my students and I'll drag it into this unshared folder. So what's interesting thing here is this folder is shared between a student and I, hypothetically, but my the folder I just created isn't. So what I can do is if I by dragging the shared folder into this folder then it makes it cuts down on clutter even more and I can have a list of all my students here and they're all shared with just them and me and nobody else can see their work. Versus uh, if you if you one mistake people often do is they take a folder and they share it with everybody as a place to drop work. The problem with that is everybody can see each other's assignment. So here I have a non-shared main folder with subfolders that have been individually shared between the student and I. Another way a student can share their work is this, if they share it by link. So here it says here is um link to so if I click this and say anyone with this link can view this and then uh, students can submit via link they can turn to that link via Google form or some other way let's talk about the difference between um, um, sharing via link or versus adding the teacher's name down here so the difference is that when they share via link they have to email that link to you or submit it somewhere it, the, the file doesn't show, doesn't show up in your Google Drive menu versus um, if they add you as edit access down here, it'll show up a pop up in um, your Google Drive. And again, that's here's a great reminder that if you're doing it assignment by assignment and they keep saying add share assignment, share assignment, you're going to get a lot of assignments listed in your Google Drive without any specific organization scheme. So this way, I actually recommend versus instead of students doing any of that. Students should do their assignment however they wish. And when they're done with the assignment, they should just drag it into the pre-existing share folder and it naturally inherits the shared folder settings. Last way to do things, uh, students could always go to Google Sites and they can uh, create a portfolio where we you can put all your semester or year's work in a portfolio. And what they do is they go insert 
insert documents and they can insert their work this way and, and then you can go to their site and you can comment on their work. 